Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you a little sneaky trick how to use the voice typer in Google Slides. As it turns out, Google has only activated voice typing for the speaker notes. Now, in Google Docs, it has the voice typer as a tool, so I'm sure they'll fix it soon and have that voice typer tool built in for a text box. But as of right now, here's a little sneaky way to do it. Um, what you do is you turn that voice typer on. Whoops, I turned it off. You turn that voice typer on for your speaker notes. Speaker notes are going to be down here. We can grab that and make it a little bigger. And now I can voice type my speaker notes. So now my microphone will activate. You got to allow the microphone if you want it to work. <laughs> I know I've done that so many times. Here we go. Now I'm going to click that microphone. And the voice typing feature will start working. I recommend speaking slowly. The faster you speak, the more mistakes the voice typer will make. As long as you speak slowly and clearly, comma, the voice typer will keep up with you all right so as you can see there are some troubles with this voice typer um the comma doesn't come over like on your iphone it comes on as the word comma and then if you pause it puts a period in and starts a new sentence so don't pause try to get it right and then what you can do is you just copy and paste this into a text box so it's really just a little hack just a little hack, that's all. So that's the voice typer in a nutshell. Um, so you can use it for all your text boxes. Just remember to activate the speaker notes. Turn that on. Allow your microphone like I forgot. And away you go. All right, thanks for stopping by again. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.